got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Hi. Good neighbor's crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. Escape? What do you mean? Reliving old memories. Like Thanksgiving, 2071. Mom made a 12-pound turkey. And then we all listened to the Silver Shroud vs. Captain Cosmos. Even Pa was there. You ever listened to the Silver Shroud? Huh. <laughs> That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. What can you tell me about the Shroud? He's from the radio shows. I've listened to all 419 episodes. And the holiday special. He's the best. Better than Grognak and Man to Man combined. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83. Wasn't he... a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. That's an understatement. Things may look bad, but we gotta try to make it better. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. What plan? I've built my own custom machine gun, even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? As it happens, I already have your costume. There she is, pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia too? Here's something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler Jarvie Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. Come on. Don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the Cryo Vault and all. Looks like I get to be the Shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! When evil walks the streets of... Calling all Silver Shroud fans. A once-in-a-lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns, and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey murdered Miss Selmy and her kid over a few lousy caps. Death is coming for you, Wayne. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man looks shielding the innocent. Judging the guilty, that guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, The Mystery of Mayor Murphy. Slowly now, reveal yourself. Silver Shroud, fret not, old friend. It's only me. Mistress of Mystery. Sorry, Molly. What brings you to the square on such a foul night? Oh no! Tracking our dear Death mayor is coming Murphy, for me. Who 
was up to some mischief. The mayor. So he wasn't here in some kind of official capacity. Hardly. Here, let me show you. The contents <coughs> of the lake. What's with the fancy duds? Looks expensive. Might be I found a new friend. Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with me, you're dead. Well, that got the blood pumping. So, Mr. Mayor, I hope you found the place all. Ah, the time-honored tradition of looting. And mistress of mystery, and the mayor. Dead? My fading feet. Friend of the show, Jerry, is here. Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? It's on. We're recording in here. Yeah. Aw, oh, man. Great. Great. The Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, A. The Hotel Rexford's you know, got rooms for him if he wants something he's more comfortable than a bedroom on the floor. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage camps, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ selling huh? the kids. Keep your nose His chems have ki killed people. And? I don't get it. Hey, look at the AJ clown. Kids. This is my turf, clown. Well, Man, I don't appreciate what you call them. Your trespasses. Galaxy News Radio. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today, you face the Silver Shroud! Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. He can't put you up to this. He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And uh, maybe get Kent off my back, all right? Stop selling to children, a miscreant, or face my wrath. It's about time someone stopped you. Screw you. Waste the freak. It's fighting time. Let them in. Go We stumbled upon a most sinister plot, old friend. Ha! No, dear heart. The shroud stumbled. The mistress maneuvered. I knew of the mayor's misdeeds for many days. I followed him to that fateful meeting with Fat Fahey. I was about to... The Silver Shroud's bringing justice to good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now, a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Austin, Mood, Fat Fahey's folly. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. Come on, doll face. It's right through here. Aw, oh, gee, Polly. I ain't never been in a secret gangsta hideout before. What the? 
Hey, Charlie. My wife a pie and cocktails. You look like one of them wankers from the posters. Would you wear an answer? all right. Ain't you all right, Wendy? You look upon the Silver Shroud. I seek a miscreant named Kendra. Shroud, then? Well, I've been nothing. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee it can be arranged. It is not wise to stand between the Silver Shroud and righteous justice. <laughs> justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? In that case, her flat's just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighters she's got with her. Nasty piece of business, that. Good luck. It is I, the mistress of mystery. I have clouded Polly's paltry perceptions to gain access to your den of depravity. Sorry, boss. I had no idea. Think it's our. Another special update. No, it wasn't Bobby No Nose who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Justice is coming, a good neighbor. You'll see. Galaxy! <laughs> you News! Radio! When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows. Shielding me, that guardian is... Oh, that a silver shroud. Today's episode, Into the Robot's Den. That's all of them. Fat 